And see, I'll tell you something else too. Don't worry about these celebrities. I'm so tired of these celebrities trying to tell you and me what our priorities ought to be. <laughs> Save the environment. All these young couples now, they've got five trash cans in their kitchen. They're so proud of themselves because they recycle. We recycle. <laughs> they don't know where Junior is, but they know where the beer bottles fail. <laughs> this, is for, this is for cans. This is for plastic. This is for paper. <laughs> their lives are out of control, but damn it, they're going to save the earth. <laughs> they do about these celebrity hypocrites. Next time you hear Barbara Streisand and those people talking about saving the environment, Let's think about these people. They're the ones that went into Aspen, Colorado with their plastic teeth and their silicone <laughs> and the bulldozers. And they uprooted trees that had been there for thousands of years to build their little 10,000 square foot weekend hideaway. Aspen is so congested now they're trying to destroy Telluride, Colorado. Well, after these celebrities got all that built for themselves, now they're lecturing me and you on how to put five trash cans in our tiny kitchen to save a damn bush. <laughs> Barbara Streisand can kiss my eyes. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. And let's not worry about that spotty dial. <laughs> See, you can't say these things at work. You, you can't, I mean, some of these things are in your gut, you can't say. You may lose your job. <laughs> that don't apply to me. <laughs> I've already buried all the money I need. <laughs> so I can tell you that I hope that damn owl dies. <laughs> it's a bird, it's a bird, it don't do nothing. <laughs> I'd like to be on the Oprah Winfrey show. Her said, Mr. Gregory, why don't they invite you on the show today? I said, cause I killed a spotty dial. <laughs> Well, why did you do that? I said, cause <laughs> on my car. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and you and I, nothing too. You and I are, so, are supposed to pretend that we're concerned about the homeless. Oh, look, 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 look. Well, yank, yank. I don't give a right slice about them. I'm fed up with them. Here's what you can try. Next time you see the guy standing on the corner with that cardboard sign, I will work for food. You know the guy's been out there every day now for three years. <laughs> Lucrative location. <laughs> Won't you pull over? <laughs> Open your car door. Say, hey, fella, I see your sign there. You'll work for food. I got an acre of land that needs clearing off. Hop in. <laughs> he won't get in. I know, there's a guy a few blocks from my house, same corner every morning, almost for three months, getting on my nerves, really. <laughs> so one morning when traffic wasn't too bad, I pulled over, he had this sign that says, I will work for food. I offered this guy an onion <laughs> to paint my house. <laughs> he, he gave me the finger. So the homeless can be rude. You know? <laughs> Hell, it was a Vidalia. 